First off, my name is uh, Jay Apollo, formerly known as Chewy Low. Blaze One Biz, V Rep Entertainment. Through my networking and all the shit that I be doing, I came across some cats that was interested in filmmaking and doing shit that I was doing. We ended up, um, you know, agreeing that we're gonna work on some shit. So shout out to Downcast first and foremost, right? We was sliding out there, homie, uh, CeCe's house. I hit him up. I got this thing going on. He's like, I'm gonna slide with you. I'm like, dope. And um, I get a call from the director, Nate. And he tells me like, yo, we had an actor cancel at the last minute. Pulling up with the homie Blaze over there. Whoever was supposed to be who I was, the uh, JC, uh, they actually backed out of the part or couldn't make it for whatever reason. He was like, we don't know if the shoot's gonna happen. We need an uh, actor for this. He's gonna do this and this, that. I was like, well, my partner Chu, he was like, Shout out to Nate, he was like, yeah. I told you, he was like, off the gate. He was like, yup, let's go. Yeah, I just landed it though. And uh, actually when I landed it though, nigga, I hit that shit and I knocked it out the park though. Hey, y'all be shooting videos and shit now too, huh? Uh, he shoots videos. I don't really shoot videos. I get video shot though. Oh, okay. You know I mean? I just got enough light for, for, for all this work. You know, smoke a lot of weed. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's what keep the day going by right there. Yeah. yeah. Smoking and shit, drinking a little bit. We was over there, uh, you know, going through our lines. I'm not exactly the actor type, but I'm willing to uh, give it a try. You dig what I'm saying? They say focus. That's that red hot laser shit. If you can point that at something, point your focus at something, you can do anything. Finally, we got into our, our little mode and set my lines and whatnot. We shoot the first scene there. Jay Apollo and Max got a few lines that they're gonna read. What we was talking about. You ready to make that shit happen? As soon as possible, man. We got Nate, you know, behind the camera. We got Zan um, on sound. So look, JC's gonna knock on the door, wake up the baby. He's just gonna immediately bounce up. I think everything actually went really well. It was kind of organic the way that we was kind of working though, for even actually working with each other for the first time. That's dope though, to be with people who have an open mind that can work with you. Yeah. Ready, uh, did no yeah. hesitation. Yeah. That's the, the dopest part of all because it's like, yo, this is some shit like people need time to prepare for. This ain't just something you just wake up, yeah. oh, you know what, here you yeah. go. Yeah, you know, not everybody can just jump into this, man. I mean, it's a wrap, you know what I mean? Snip, snip, you feel me? Downcast, everybody in the building, Concrete Jungle, Rebirth Films, you feel me? Uh, it was the next day, wake up early, we gotta hop on the road. We coming all the way from Pittsburgh, California. So the next day, me and my son Adrian, we, we smashed out and then uh, we headed to Quentin. It was ugly outside at that. Hey, it was raining. Yeah. It was it was it, it was looking real ugly, but we had to get up early. We got yeah. up like at five in the morning to yeah, get, water, to get the on water the water that was pouring down like a motherfucker. Let it pause, yeah, I came for the money Double back, give me more, yeah yeah. Let it rain, let it pause Yeah, I came for the money Double back, give me more, yeah Let it rain, let it pause Yeah, I came for the money Double back, give me more, yeah Let it rain, let it pause See, I came for the money Double back, give me more, yeah Hey, still riding around with a felon, nigga Hey, put a 10 on your melon, nigga Hey Said it won't smoke in hell and nigga. Shoot out front of Chevron, leave it. We pulled up to the meeting spot. You know, we met at a Home Depot. You know, I don't know if that's a coincidence or it was just trying to <laughs> Oh, out. whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get a shot at the Pittsburgh Park, like in that little walkway. And then uh, I'm gonna just get the shot of the traffic going by. Nate came out, he kind of, I didn't know what the shots or how we we're gonna shoot. I'm thinking that dialogue, we could start it in Pittsburgh. And I just, I wanna make it, I put this part in and out of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sitting there, and Nate guards attention. Oh, this is all like, Guerrilla filmmaking, you know what I mean? So he's a yeah, savvy yeah. when he got his B-roll shots for, for the bridge and everything. Y'all did y'all little part, you know what I'm saying? You went to the phone and you was taking the pictures. And it was crazy because like how, how they allowed y'all to go in there, like. Yeah. 
And that was kind of wild just because, of, you know, we didn't know if the COs were going to sweat us at the gate. Because I know from being in there personally that when you parole and you, you're out there in the gate and people are waiting for you, it, it, they're really strict. First take was hella fast. And then, like, no one said nothing when I was out there standing. Yeah, but then yeah. when it came to shoot the outside scenes of me jumping in the car and all that other shit, right? We, uh, we had to jump out. So once the cameras was out, it was like, okay, the CEOs are right there. They're yeah. gonna say something, they're gonna now, say something. Now they can see you, right? Yeah, we went to Pittsburgh for a moment, and then we was at the bar station. No, they got, that's what I was telling you, like, these are people with them. Me, you, and Adrian, we posted up there for a minute. But um, actually, they ended up getting some cool shots, and hopefully we can blend everything together and make everything work. After that, we headed out to Monterey. It's like a two hour drive from where we're located at. So we had to do the re the reshoots. And then you're gonna be waiting around the corner right there. Okay. Like, so it takes place in that in that. Yeah. Hour. He's gonna you're gonna stick him twice up there and kick his you're ass gonna, down the stairs. Gonna, ah. When you flick on the light, he's gonna fucking be surprised or whatever, and you're gonna just stick him immediately twice. And then he's gonna, he's gonna tumble down the stairs. And then I was thinking, kick him onto the wall so that way he has something to grab onto just so he's not getting fucked up all the way down the stairs like he's not hitting are we gonna actually film tumbling because i don't think anybody signed up for falling down some stairs though he's gonna have to be a jackie chan today he's gonna have to you, be a jackie chan are you serious you good with that we're doing what we're doing we're doing it in a way we're gonna try to do it in a way that 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 is not only that but safe so he doesn't get super fucked up it's gonna be one so take me home he's gonna but he's gonna try and catch the rail whatever then he's gonna roll he's gonna roll we got the cats over here from Downcast. The boy making his acting debut with them. I've already did one, so we're gonna keep it like what it is. We pulled up over there. He had a bunch of rigs. He had his camera going on. Once again, we started going through our lines and shit. We are putting together a, a, a nice short. We're not gonna give him too much info. We're not gonna show him too much as far as that goes. Just know that she was here. And when it drop, you'll see the final result. And, it's, and, and just know the stakes are high. Me and Jay Apollo, we um, we choreographed some some uh, fight techniques because oh, yeah. previously it wasn't enough. <laughs> this. We're kind of choreographing our path and what we're going to do for the final scene of the short. The fellas already wrote it with this place in mind, so it's kind of very helpful. What we're kind of doing is like doing the walkthrough where we look yeah. and play. Where, wherever the fuck we may be. Wherever we may be, and the most important thing is that we do it. It, it takes some coordination because when we set up these shots, for the, well, the director sets up these shots, we want to be able to kind of have already knowledge of where we're going to run. Like how you were saying, uh, what kind of a person is Is he shook as he's running or is he's running hella calculated like he's a beast? Like uh. that all that matters. Like people don't realize the subtleties that, that go into this, these uh, um, these uh, films and then the, this content that you watch, you know what I mean? These shows, the subtleties matter. If you got the right, you know what I mean? Then, yes. then you could paint the scenario without having to say words. Well, it's because the energy you're directing out to the screen. Correct. So. And, 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 and a lot of times, a lot of these shows, whether you know it or not, it's, it's what's not said that's telling the story. Exactly. I, you know, it was dope because we got a chance to go back and try to recreate some shit. Did that? Day one, and, 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 it's, and, it, and it look and it sound good. Like that's that's what it I'm trying to hear. Sound good. Like, look good. Yeah. 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 yeah I'm talking about. How are we doing here, man? We out here shooting this uh, untitled short film. Why are we doing it? We're doing it because the East Bay needs it. <laughs> yeah. We started looking at uh, the fake blood. And, and the knives that he had laying around and shit, you know, that shit that, ah, that shit that I fucked you up. And to myself, I was thinking, I was like, damn, these are real knives. Max gets dressed, you know, they put the, uh, the meat, the meat suit on him, and he has a little metal plate underneath that. And, and yeah, so like, that's yeah. I remember last time when we was talking about two, that was my reference point. So I'm just, as long as I stay within this, this pouch line right here, I'm kind of center mass with the plate. Oh, you the can plate see. Plate right here. You can see. You feel me? So if I see like right here, I'm golden. <laughs> that's like all the little all the little patch are right there too. Let's go. We shot it. The uh, shout out to the special effects team uh, at Downcast. They're fired. You know because the the stab scene looked stupid realistic and it looked gory as fuck and. I feel like that's the oh, look that we're going for, so I'm glad that we were able to make it look real, and it really came out good. And you know, Blaze gets to stabbing him up, and you know, y'all get to see that when it happens, and when he be stabbing, he be like, ah, 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 that 
that part, that, that part is kind of tight right there. I like that one. That, 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 was, my, that was my favorite part. And uh, now you know. Yeah, man. So overall, how did you feel about the whole experience? Man, I felt good about the whole situation, man. Shout out to Downcast Studios, man. Uh, Rebirth, and, you know, Concrete, Motherfucking Jungle, y'all the same. Shout out to J Apollo for the last minute. Just, just picking it up and running with it for the sake of the art. You feel yeah, me? Like on some selfless shit. Shout out to everybody that picked up a different yeah. role than what they're most used to. Definitely.